we go back to uh, looking at uh, Beijing Winter Olympics, um, focusing on uh, Nathan Chen, Chinese American uh, figure skater. So he had, um, after winning a gold medal, uh, he had been uh, received uh, some hate from the Chinese people uh, on the Chinese website, uh, Weibo. Uh, And uh, this uh, excuse has been uh, been thrown around. Uh, Yo, you're not. Uh, oh, uh, oh, you're too white and too Americanized. Uh, and this insults were being thrown on the Weibo website, which. Not really is the most reliable Chinese website. And the thing that like, is insulting China. So Nathan and Chen's uh, critics uh, point, uh, have pointed out the support for fellow athletes who have been condemned that the, like, the human rights abuses and the Xinjiang and uh, his inability to speak a uh, fluent uh, Mandarin. Uh, although he can speak it, but he's not uh, fluent, uh, which many people, uh, Asians, uh, over in uh, what, North America, they may not be uh, uh, that, that speaking uh, in like the, the Asian languages. Uh, no. mm -hmm. So some people had been uh, comparing him to 18-year-old uh, freestyle uh, skier Eileen Ku and 19-year-old uh, figure skater Zhu Yi. And uh, both of those uh, two uh, were on the team China. Uh, well, technically they were uh, trying to represent uh, China because they ha still have a, a Chinese background. Uh, they're not, uh, do not have uh, American parents. Uh, like they're not white. And it's not the first time uh, we have seen, uh, oh, you're too white or too uh, uh, you know, Asian or that kind of excuse uh, being thrown at uh, Asian Americans. Uh, going Looking back at a uh, Korean American uh, reporter, uh, Michelle Lee, who uh, yeah, people were thought, um, well, people were thought, oh, you're not Asian enough. Oh, you're not white enough. Uh, which, that's kind of like a word file, word uh, term uh, thrown at uh, people who are of uh, Asian descent uh, is uh, very disrespectful and uh, just rude and uh, just hate uh, oh, and uh, people need to shut the f up. So some uh, Weibo that uh, you there's I've been saying acrobatic sort of a circus monkey I and insulting China and all that uh, uh. And uh, while some uh, people have uh, and, uh, are positive towards uh, Nathan uh, Chen's uh, support for the American ice dancer uh, Evan Bates, uh, who criticized uh, Beijing for its alleged awful treatment for the 
Uyghur people uh, during the interview last year, and yeah, and yeah, that did happen. Uh, holding them captive and apparently Nathan Chen also received the hate the previous Olympics in South Korea Pyeongchang Winter Olympics And uh, he used, had uh, used a song uh, from uh, Mao's uh, Last Dancer, uh, which is a movie about a dancer who defected to the uh, you know, U.S. from uh, China in the uh, 1980s. Uh, and uh, he was and yet he did not uh, actually know anything about uh, the movie at all. And he just liked the song. And uh, and one thing that really helped him uh, avoid uh, that much uh, hate on social media was uh, because he had lack of uh, social media access in China. So and um, the happy thing for him was that because uh, his parents are uh, grew up in uh, Beijing, so. And yet, looking back at Zhu Yi, apparently he had uh, moved from uh, California to Beijing, and uh, she had uh, renounced her U.S. Uh, citizenship. And to uh, yet they were throwing that, oh, you're too American, oh, you can't, you can't speak that Mandarin enough, and they were not throwing that uh, ra racist uh, and offensive and hate that comment at her, at her for that. And they were making fun of her for tw falling twice during a routine in a woman's single f free skating event. Uh, and another thing, uh, Go back to America and uh, oh, you're bringing a you're in a shame to China. And yet, while well, people like um, Eileen Gu, uh, who had uh, won a gold for China in the women's uh, big air competition, uh, yet the Chinese the people were uh, uh, supporting her. And while well, uh, and she that uh, did praise on Chinese uh, social media platforms uh, for being uh, talented and uh, smart and uh, and for t speaking fluently in uh, Mandarin and us uh, and basically Asian of all political issues. Uh, And yet, they, these people um, still have to deal with the oh, you're not an Asian enough, oh, you're not, you're not American enough, and go back to China, go back to America. No, that people should uh, respect the background, and uh, if you're going to tell and tell, uh, go back to uh, wherever you came from. Uh, It's like anyone who says that to basically anybody, uh, yeah, yeah. That's just a, like a hateful intent, and yeah, you should not be doing that kind of stuff. And although they they do have all three of them, uh, Nathan Chen, Zhu Yi, and uh, Eileen Gu all have like a Chinese uh, background. Uh, well, 
and while Eileen Guga gets a fair treatment, uh, although uh, she's uh, technically hated by most people in the uh, USA right now. And it is unfair that uh, Nathan Chen and uh, Zhu Ji are getting that uh, hate. Uh, And they think that they, these people think that they can decide for like uh, soon these uh, athletes to like, oh, you should be on this team because you are American. Oh, or you can usually be thinking because you are Chinese. And well, technically, it is like up to like the like the athlete uh, to what to, what team they actually want to be for what country. But uh, although uh, not many slots are like uh, taken up, so. And be, they, racial, racial discrimination, uh, this kind of stuff, uh, just because of her person is uh, is uh, residing in this country, or like uh, or they can't speak a uh, certain language enough. Uh, that gives no excuse uh, to hate uh, someone uh, of a certain background because uh, they're not fluent in that language. Uh. And basically, uh, with uh, people uh, who come from uh, Asian countries, uh, they immigrate to, uh, to the U.S. and Canada, they, uh, back then, now, uh, like, uh, you had to assimilate to Western, the Western ways, uh, to fit in and, uh, to avoid discrimination, but, uh, racial, racial discrimination still happened, and, uh, but nowadays, people that uh, move over, they're proud of, they're not uh, told to be proud of, uh, what your culture is, and, but, it's still uh, becoming a barrier to uh, being proud of, uh, especially these people. Oh, you're not American. Oh, you're not a Westerner, and that excuse being thrown around. And uh, don't even bother to say, "Oh, go back to uh, where you came from," or like. Or oh, you like you not fluent enough. That doesn't make you. Uh, a certain uh, culture or uh, background uh, representative uh, but if they still like um, respect the culture and they still pr practice that uh, culture stuff and yeah they are still of uh, that cultural background and then you can, there's nothing that you can you can change about them so that goes to basically uh, uh, and, uh, and the fault that people on a Weibo in uh, China, and also people in the U.S. Uh, who are being racist uh, and uh, very hateful towards uh, Eileen Gu and uh, Zhu Yi. And this racial uh, stuff really needs to stop. And even uh, Asians are are also uh, racist to uh, other Asians too. Uh, so and for not being a certain uh, Asian enough, and that needs to stop. And that is why uh, we need to actually uh, support our fellow Asian people and not uh, hate on them and respected decisions.